Iran's military reveals new details of President Raisi crash. The general staff of Iran's armed forces released the preliminary findings of the investigation into a helicopter crash that killed President Ibrahim Raisi and his delegation, Iranian news agencies Taznim and Mayer reported. An expert investigative committee arrived at the scene the day after the fatal crash and found no signs of bullet impacts or similar damage in the wreckage. The investigators determined that the aircraft had caught fire after it hit the ground, media reported citing Iranian military officials. Raisi's helicopter did not deviate from its designated flight path, according to the findings. Around a minute and a half before the crash, the pilot communicated with the other two helicopters in the flight group. The report stated, adding that nothing suspicious was found in the conversations between the flight crew and dispatchers. More details will be provided after further investigation, the committee added. Raisi was flying in the northwestern Iranian province of East Azerbaijan when his aircraft crashed in the mountainous region, killing everyone on board. Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian and Imam Mohammed Ali Ali Hashem were also on the presidential helicopter. The complexity of the region, fog and low temperature slowed the search and rescue operation, forcing it to extend through the night, the investigators said. The exact crash site was found with the assistance of drones, they added. Tehran announced that it will hold a presidential election on June the 28th. Vice President Mohammed Mokba has become acting president in the meantime with the approval of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. The deaths of Raisi and Hossein Amir Abdullahian comes as Iran continues to back militia groups in the wider Mideast to pressure its enemies, namely Israel and the United States. China strengthens Russian war machine with surging equipment sales. China has surged sales to Russia of machine tools microelectronics and other technology that Moscow in turn is using to produce missiles, tanks, aircraft and other weaponry for use in its war against Ukraine, according to a U.S. assessment, according to Voice of America. Two senior Biden administration officials who discussed the sensitive findings on the condition of anonymity said that in 2023, about 90 percent of Russia's microelectronics came from China. Russia has used those to make missiles, tanks and aircraft. Nearly 70% of Russia's approximately $900 million in machine tool imports in the last quarter of 2023 came from China. It is noted that Chinese and Russian entities have also been working to jointly produce unmanned aerial vehicles inside Russia, and Chinese companies are likely providing Russia with the nitrocellulose used in the manufacture of ammunition, the officials said. China-based companies Wuhan Global Sensor Technology Company Wuhan, Tongsheng Technology Company and Hick Vision are providing optical components for use in Russian tanks and armored vehicles. The official said that Russia has received military optics for use in tanks and armored vehicles manufactured by Chinese firms iRay Technology and North China Research Institute of Electro-Optics and that China has been providing Russia with UAV engines and turbojet engines for cruise missiles. Voice of America says that Russia's semiconductor imports from China jumped from $200 million in 2021 to over $500 million in 2022, according to Russian customs data analyzed by the Free Russia Foundation, a group that advocates for civil society development. Beijing is also working with Russia to improve its satellite and other space-based capabilities for use in Ukraine, a development the officials say could, in the longer term, increase the threat Russia poses across Europe. The officials, citing downgraded intelligence findings, said the US has also determined that China is providing imagery to Russia for its war on Ukraine.